folks so today in yada belly's kitchen you know when when you end up with a whole bunch of different stuff in your fridge where you're not sure what you want to do with them and you just decide say i gotta do something well this is one of those things so recently i picked up this uh package of mussels in aldi our local um, supermarket here in south florida one of our local supermarket and i I figured that we want to do something with this, alright? And we're going to do something right quick. So the Aldi, um, the mussels comes in garlic butter sauce. And it's pretty much, as you can see there, something like clams or oysters. And we just have to do something with this. Then, when I looked in my refrigerator, when I looked in my refrigerator, I realized that I have some shrimp yeah and these are raw um bivy and the shrimp so i'm gonna put some shrimp in it and then we look a little bit more further in our refrigerator we look again in the refrigerator and we realize i have some some crab yeah and these are blue crabs cleaned and everything and they come frozen so my figure say something can go on yes man something is gonna happen so let me show you what I'm doing. I have some scallions that I just cleaned. One small onion that I just cleaned. A piece of ginger and some garlic. That's gonna be my base. Alright? And I'm gonna just start a thing. I have some baby carrots right here, so I think I have some celery in the fridge. I have some holy basil or basil. Right, yeah, so hey, just watch the procedure. I cook where I cook, yes, in a yard belly's kitchen. Seafood, uh huh, garlic, butter, seafood. Hey, hey, I wonder if it can work. Okay, so I have a pot right there, so with some, <coughs> never put some water in it. Pot right here. And I'm just putting one cup of water in this pot. And then we have washed. We wash all of this the crab them. See them there? I'm just gonna put those in it. Alright. And the reason why I'm putting these first and my hands are clean guys is because the crab basically is the longest the longest thing for cook. Alright? Somebody just want to get this crab up to a boil and then make a start add some flavor. Now some folks, depending on where you are, you might want you might season up your crab beforehand. I don't think it's hundred percent necessary especially because it's shellfish. Alright, let me just move the camera here. Because it's, it's shellfish. So basically, with shellfish, you pretty much can't get around the shell. So might as well just cook it and done. You understand? Or just, you know, start it up. Yeah. So we're keeping the garlic theme, but obviously I need to put some flavor in this. So here I have some lemon pepper. And I'm going to add the lemon pepper. Let me put on the camera so that... Um, Okay, I'll add the pepper. And see the water come up to a boil now. Yeah. So I'm adding my lemon pepper. And I'm just adding enough granules to cover most of the crab. Not then I'll go full it. You know? And guys, listen again, these everything that I do, most of the things rather that I do in my kitchen is experimental. All right, so bear with me. You may not necessarily prepare yours the same way, but it doesn't mean that I am bad and I'm wrong and you are right. It just simply means that we're doing it differently, okay? All right, so my, my crab is, is starting to boil and immediately the color, as soon as the water comes up to a boil, the color of the crab has changed. I'm adding a little bit of um, Old Bay. Yeah? Just a little bit. And what I'm doing with this little water that you see here, is using it as my cooking ingredient uh, my cooking ingredients yeah so that's what's gonna cook the crab 
and then before I start next sauce alright so I'm flavoring basically trying to flavor that water that I'm using to cook the crab I'm gonna add a little bit of my garlic not all of it just a little bit gonna add a little bit of vinegar yes and the vinegar that I'm gonna add is a little apple cider just a little apple cider vinegar I can use regular cane vinegar but I prefer using some apple cider vinegar so I'm just adding maybe a teaspoon and that I'm, I'm trying to use it to get that that seafoody flavor out yeah let me see my camera move my camera so you can see yeah so my seafood come up to a boil there yeah man yes man and by this time now the the inside as areas of the crab is supposed to be um, getting ready to be cooked almost cooked so you can do one of two things you can throw off this water when you're done or you can allow it to reduce down to help with your gravy all right I'm gonna allow this to reduce down a little bit more yeah because I'm, I'm liking the flavors that I'm, I'm the, the profile the flavor profile that I'm getting the rubber spatula can manage the cracks I'm just turning them over so the undersides get a uh, flip get some touch yeah oh sorry sorry for the steam sorry for the steam guys all right and then once this has reduced a little bit I'm gonna pick up and continue doing more of this recipe yes okay so now me have the just a little remnants of the, the crab in that container and I'm just gonna add my some my vegetables to it yeah and this is concentrated with a whole heap of salt so me now put nothing more with salty in a, in a this all right me now put nothing more with salty in a this me just want this to be the base I will notice me take out the crabs see the crab them here yeah, take them out out of the container because I never want them to stay there and get um, overcooked so now I'm going to start build on this flavor that is in this pot and I'm also going to start putting in my shrimp really, really and truly I'm not supposed to put in the shrimp till last because the shrimp um, take easy to cook but I want, want them to get some of that in a rich flavor yeah you know so all i did was i added a little bit of oil to to the the the, the, the reduction from the crabs and i'm just pretty much just trying to saute my shrimp in it really quick yeah it look good Alright, so let's make the shrimp go on with sting right there, sir. While me move this continue. And now I just have to add the mussels. They look like cockroach. I can't stand out with something that look like cockroach, you know. Trust me. And as I said, this is mussels that um in, 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 in butter sauce and I'm gonna turn up my flame because I want this to cook right quick I'm gonna finish this sauce with whatever I choose to finish it with you know but I wanted my flame to be on high sorry guys normally the flame supposed to be on high um, I also read the container and it says those clams that those are mussels that may not have been open are still good 
um, one of the reason why they they don't open is because they the 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 um the muscle that holds the, them together is very strong. All right, so you want this to quickly start to boil like almost like a stir fry because you want this this um liquid to reduce this beautiful liquid right here to reduce but i am gonna use this liquid as my gravy so by the time this reduces it's gonna be ready to 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 to, to eat yeah as the mussels have already been cooked they came pre-packaged and cooked already but this is one of the ideas them where you want when you do something quick for dinner on a weeknight and you don't want it boring. Yeah, you just make a little seafood thing and use up where you're having your oats. Right, baby? Right. I can do it. Now I'm just going to add all of these. And as I said, it's like a clam bake but with an Asian um, inspired vibe, you know? So I'm adding my onion, my piece of ginger, my scallions, and my, um, what else, garlic. And I'm just gonna make this come to a quick boil, rolling boil. And by the time that reduction happens there, our dinner should be ready. Yeah, Asian inspired dinner. So now we're just gonna cover the pot. I'm gonna place the crab on the top and then cover the pot. So one take one three four minutes. I make it boil like crazy. And a dinner, we say. Yeah man. And then never finish it up with some some butter, hold on, and put some garlic powder. Put some garlic powder. And this garlic powder is straight garlic powder, no salt. Just to intensify my garlic butter vibe when I work with. As I said, no more salt to it in. And it smell real garlic, you know. Oh, I added a, some fish sauce to it as well, guys. I'm going to show you the container because the whole house nearly teared down a while ago. With the fish sauce. You want to talk to them about the fish sauce, see? It smell bad. <laughs> Tell them, man. Tell them a little bit more. It smell awful. <laughs> Terrible. Disgusting. Well, um, so this is the brand, fish sauce. And I promise you guys, if you have never used fish sauce before, oh Lord, help me Jesus. You would you, you just stop cooking immediately if you follow the smell, but I run out of the house. Surprisingly, the taste is opposite to the smell. It not have no funk in the taste. It tastes absolutely beautiful, but I don't know why it is that it smells that way. <laughs> I just can't figure it out. That's a mystery. That's the one next wonder of the world. Our oh, fish sauce smells so bad and tastes so good. And Jamaicans are funny enough, most most Jama Asian Jamaicans, um, meaning Chinese Jamaicans, use it, but most Jamaicans of African descent don't. And I promise you, it does add a whole leap of flavor to the food. Whole leap. But we just might use it, I wanna use to them something there. Yeah, and a reduction now. See, it I got on there. So I'm going to turn the stove down. Turn the stove down. Because I'm about to lock it off. Now, if you want, guys, you could take these out. And you could just pop out all the meat out of them. And put it back in the pot. But it's not absolutely necessary. Especially because my wife loves eat the crab like, you know, them crazy people. So, we might as well just make everything stay as it is. All right, so now I'm going to add some butter. And the butter is the finishing. Let's add some butter. 
Where yeah, should I pick them rice? I show you cook rice. Yeah, show up there, right? Mm. All right. Add some butter. Yeah. And taste a little bit of it. It looks so New Orleans right now. Perfect. 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 Oh, Perfect. 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 Was, that was a nice buy Asian supermarket. Yeah. When next you see it, play it in. Lord, 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 Lord. Oh, look what I want in the Wednesday night. Lord, 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 Lord. This looks so good. This is the dish completed and plated. Garlic, butter, crabs, mussels, and shrimp. AKA seafood. Mm -mm. And we have it with some jasmine rice to the side. Mm -mm -mm. You like it? This dish is called Candy. That's my name. That's, <laughs> that's me all over. All day every day. You like it? What? Of course. I love it. So once again guys, it's uh, Taste Buds with yours truly, Yadi Belly. And I want you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and what else? Thumbs up and what else? Share. And um, cook it too. The crabs are under there. Lord, 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 Lord. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching and sticking and staying as usual. And um, until next time. Wow, good. Peace.